we all get into like creative funks and whatnot. Uh, I actually wrote a blog post about this a couple weeks ago and uh, got some good attention. Uh, so I guess I'll cover it uh, in the accountability vlog, episode two. Ooh. Number one, uh, for me at least, is exercising. Exercising is a great way to clear your mind. You get all these awesome like endorphins and chemicals in your body, um, in your brain and whatnot. I go to the gym, bust out some deadlifts, uh, get some endorphins, and afterwards like my mind is just a little bit more free to uh, think about other things. Great way to unwind. So number two is uh, watch a movie. There's there's a lot of work that goes in uh, into movies. Uh, there's you know prop designers, set designers. Uh, there's the actors, the writers, the directors, the DP. Uh, it's an entire crew that works on movies, and you know that final product that you watch. You know that that that's a lot of creative people going in on one project, and you can always like glean something from that. Like if you like the angle, the depth of field, the timing of the scenes, and the editing, there's a lot of stuff that you can actually glean from watching a movie. Number three, it's uh, the old school way of watching movies. It's reading books. It, it's it's a movie that gets played inside your own head. And so so what I like to do is when I read a book. Like I kind of imagine, you know, how the characters uh, look, how the alternate universe or whatever in that book looks, and then I do a, I, I, like I do a photo shoot based around one of the concepts or like one of the styles that I see in my head. Just go to the library, dude. Like go to the library, pick up a book, read, 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 read. You know, emulate what you see in your head. Drawing, it's a great way to do to to, to kind of get your thoughts down, especially like if it's all jumbled up, and sometimes even just doodling stuff. You know, like if you just like let your mind wander while you're drawing something out. You don't have to be the best artist. So thumbnails, right? Thumbnails are great. Uh, you can put down like a bunch of different ideas on there, right? And like, look at this. Uh, so you guys can see actually in detail about how shitty my art is. But yeah, thumbnails, just getting it down, like, like, like different little scenes, little concepts. You know, it's a great way to get like all your concepts kind of like organized. And so you can like pre-visualize when the shoot day comes things are gonna go a lot quicker. It's just like, this, this is just a way to get your ideas down. You know, like doodling stuff. Um, I actually started a, a series of drawings because uh, I was doodling at a bar a while ago. And so um, I'll throw some of this stuff up too, right? Boom, boom. But yeah, like, uh, like you know, like that, that started off with just like trying to draw a concept, right? Um, and then, so uh, oh, I kind of liked it kind of decided to embrace my shitty art style and I got some good feedback on it and started to just continue it. Those are some ways that I stay creative. Uh, you know, try them out, see if they work for you. What I want you guys to do is in the comments, I want you guys to tell me ways that you're staying creative. So if you guys have any ways uh, that or you stay creative, like unconventional or conventional, whatever, uh, share those. You know, like we we are an art community of artists. The more the the, 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 the better that you guys do, the better that I do. The better the more that we help each other out. You know, the better that we do, and the, like, then we end up actually getting paid. Because uh, this industry is really rough, right? This industry is really really rough. You know, for getting paid, it's garbage. Go ahead, guys. Uh, leave your stuff in the comments. Uh, I'll catch you next time.